Hello, this is chapter 8, titled Real Holiness. Uh, this is Paul Washer, his book. Um, the book name is Narrow Gate, Narrow Way. Uh, I've actually purchased a copy um, via Kindle. Um, and I'm, that's how I'm able to read it to you guys online. Um, again, the name of the chapter is titled Real Holiness. So let's begin. He begins by saying that we talk too much about being radical Christians. Radical Christians are not people who jump around at concerts. Radical, radical Christians are not people who just wear Christian t-shirts. Radical Christians are those who bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Radical Christians are those who reverence and honor their parents even when they feel that their parents are wrong. Radical Christians are those who do not dress sensually in order to show off their bodies. If your clothing is a frame for your face, again, if your clothing is a frame for your face, God is pleased with your clothing. If your clothing is a frame for your body, it is merely sensual, and God hates what you're doing. I'm talking about Christianity. I've spent my life, I'm sorry, I have spent my life in jungles. I've spent my life freezing in the Andes Mountains. I have seen people die. I have seen a little boy shot by Muslims five times through the stomach and left on a sidewalk simply because he cried out. I am so afraid, but I cannot deny Jesus Christ. Please don't kill me, but I will not deny him. That boy died in a pool of blood. And you talk about being a radical Christian because you go to a conference. I am talking about real holiness. I'm talking about true godliness. What would a movement of God among us involve? It would mean that we all came under conviction of sin, that we all fell down on our faces and wept because we watched the things that God hates, wear the things that God hates, and act like the world look like the world, smell like the world, that we began to mourn over doing the very things that grieve God and being unaware of our sinfulness and our shallow knowledge of his word. Even though we claim that the scriptures are the infallible word of God, all we get in preaching is unbiblical illustrations stories, and quaint little tales. Oh, that God would shine on us, that we would turn away from our sin, that we would renounce the things that are displeasing to him, that we would run to him, relish him, and love him. I pray that God would raise up missionaries today. I do not wish the same things that others might want for you. Your parents might want for you to have security and insurance and nice homes. They want you to have cars and respect. I want for you the same thing that I want for my son. That one day he takes the spiritual banner of Jesus Christ and preaches the word of God, placing the gospel banner on a hill where no one has ever placed that banner before. I want him to cry out, Jesus Christ is Lord, even if it costs my son his life. What if he says to me the same thing I said when I was a young man? I'm going into the mountains. I'm going into the jungle. People said to me, you can't go there. You're insane. It's a war. You're going to die. 
Should my son grow up and put on that backpack to go? I'm going to pray over him and say, Go. God be with you. And if you die, my son, I will see you in glory. And I will honor your death.